When were chloroplasts first described? Because chloroplasts are a large cell structure, bigger than any other organelle except the nucleus. They were described and studied early in the history of cytology. Anton van Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723, and Nehemiah Grew, 1641-1712, described these organelles in the 17th century. In the early stages of the microscopic study of cells. What three groups are included in the flatworms? Flatworms belong to the phylum platyhelminthes. They are flat, elongated, achylomate animals that exhibit bilateral symmetry and have primitive organs. The members of the flatworms are 1. Planar eons, 2. Flukes, and 3. Tapeworms. RNA When was RNA discovered? By the 1940s it was known that there was another kind of nucleic acid other than DNA, this one called RNA. Phoebus Levine, 1869-1940, a Russian-born chemist. Further refined the work of Albrecht Kossel, 1853-1927. Kossel was awarded a Nobel Prize in 1910 for determining the composition of nucleon. At the time of Kossel's work, it was not clear that DNA and RNA were different substances. In 1909 Levine isolated the carbohydrate portion of nucleic acid from yeast and identified it as the pentose sugar ribose. In 1929 he succeeded in identifying the carbohydrate portion of the nucleic acid isolated from the thymus of an animal. It was also a pentose sugar, but it differed from ribose in that it lacked one oxygen atom. Levine called the new substance deoxyribose. These studies define the chemical differences between DNA and RNA by their sugar molecules. How are antibiotics produced today? Until the mid-1950s all antibiotics were products of microorganisms. In the late 1950s researchers succeeded in synthesizing the nucleus of Penicillium notatum. This achievement allowed for various new groups to be attached to the synthesized nucleus. Which paved the way for new forms of penicillin to be created. Synthesized antibiotics use natural molecules and add side chains that create a drug more effective than penicillin. What is the alternation of generations in plants? All plants exhibit an alternation of generations between diploid sporophytes and haploid gametophytes. Sporophytes produce haploid spores as a result of meiosis. 
the spores grow into multicellular, haploid individuals known as gametophytes. Spores are the first cells of the gametophyte generation. Gametophytes produce gametes as a result of mitosis. Male and female gametes fuse to form a zygote, which grows into a sporophyte. The zygote is the first cell of the following sporophyte generation. How many chloroplasts are in plant cells? Unicellular algae may only have one large chloroplast. Whereas a plant leaf cell may have between 20 and 100. Which species of tree are highly resistant to fungal decay and which are highly susceptible? In general, black locust, walnut, white oak, cedar, and black cherry trees are highly resistant to fungal decay. Species that are highly susceptible to fungal decay include 156 aspen, willow, silver maple, and American beech trees. What differences are there between cellular slime molds and plasmodial slime molds? Although both are called slime molds, cellular and plasmodial slime molds have few features in common and differ in their life cycles. Cellular slime molds are similar to amoebas. They move, feed, and reproduce as a single cell. Plasmodial slime molds, plasmodium, consist of a multinucleate mass of cytoplasm lacking cell walls. How much cholesterol is needed in your diet? None. The body is capable of making all the cholesterol it needs. Almost all cells can synthesize some cholesterol, but most require more to maintain plasma membranes. This additional cholesterol, which is found in the body, is synthesized by the liver. All cell membranes contain cholesterol, and it is also used in producing bile salts and steroid hormones. What is a trinucleotide repeat? Dispersed throughout the human genome are sequences of repetitive DNA. These repeats will have 1 to 6 nucleotides, base pairs. One type in particular, involving 3 repeating nucleotide pairs, is called a trinucleotide repeat. As DNA is copied and then transferred to a new generation. The number of repeated sets can increase and cause diseases. How can some animals communicate via electric fields?
sharks, skates, and rays, all cartilaginous fish. Have specialized structures for sensing weak electric fields. These structures are used for finding prey and navigation. And are also thought to be useful in finding mates as well. What is industrial melanism? Industrial melanism is the change in the coloration of species that occurs as a result of industrial pollution. Increased air pollution as a result of the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain during the 18th and 19th centuries led to an accumulation of soot on many structures including tree trunks. As a result, organisms whose coloration allowed them to use the trees to hide from predators lost that advantage and were eaten more often by predators. A classic example of this was the peppered moth, Biston bitularia, whose coloration is polymorphic. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, collection records indicate that the darker or melanistic form was almost unknown. But by 1895 it constituted about 98% of the moths collected. The two forms eventually reached a state of balanced polymorphism. Because the change in morphology could be directly linked to the change in industry. This process is described as industrial melanism. What is nuclear magnetic resonance imaging? Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI sometimes called nuclear magnetic resonance imaging. NMR is a non-invasive, non-ionizing diagnostic technique. It is useful in detecting small tumors, blocked blood vessels, or damaged vertebral discs. Because it does not involve the use of radiation, it can often be used where X-rays are dangerous. Large magnets beam energy through the body, causing hydrogen atoms in the body to resonate. This produces energy in the form of tiny electrical signals. A computer detects these signals, which vary in different parts of the body and according to whether an organ is healthy or not. The variation enables a picture to be produced on a screen and interpreted by a medical specialist. What distinguishes MRI from computerized X-ray scanners is that most X-ray studies cannot distinguish between a living body and a cadaver. While MRI sees the difference between life and death in great detail. More specifically, it can discriminate between healthy and diseased tissues with more sensitivity than conventional radiographic instruments like X-rays or CAT scans. CAT, computerized axial tomography. Scanners have been around since 1973 and are actually glorified X-ray machines. They offer three-dimensional viewing but are limited because the object imaged must remain still. How does a plant become a fossil? Fossilization is dependent upon where organisms grow and how quickly they are covered by sediment. 
Rarely do paleobotanists find the fossil remains of whole plants. Usually only fossilized parts of plants are found. Fossilization occurs in many different ways. Three common methods of fossilization are compression, impression, and molding or casting. Compression fossils are often formed in water, where heavy sediment flattens leaves or other plant parts. The weight of the sediment squeezes out water present in the plant tissue. Leaving only a thin film of tissue. An impression fossil is an imprint of an organism that is left behind when the organism's remains have been completely destroyed, leaving only the contour of the plant. Fossil molds and casts are formed when animal or plant tissues become surrounded by hardened sediment, the tissue then decays. The hollow negative created by the tissue is called a mold. When fossil molds fill with sediment over time, the sediment often conforms to the contours of the mold, resulting in a fossil called a cast. How are fungi related to soy sauce? Aspergillus tamari and other deuteromycetes are used to produce soy sauce by slowly fermenting boiled soybeans. Soy sauce provides foods with more than its special flavor. The soybeans and fungi give soy sauce amino acids that are vital to human life. Fungi have been used in many cultures to improve the nutrient quality of the diet. What are buds on stems? Buds may be terminal or axillary on a stem. The terminal bud is at the apex of the stem where the plant growth is concentrated. It contains developing leaves and a compact series of nodes and internodes. The axillary buds are found in the angles formed by a leaf and the stem. The axillary buds are usually dormant. How are different species of fungi classified? Fungi classification is based mainly on the type of reproductive spore a fungi produces. If the reproductive, sexual spores of a species have not been identified or examined, the fungi are placed in the phyla deuteromycota. The three phyla of fungi are Ascomycota, Basidiomycota, and Zygomycota. Each phyla has unique reproductive spores, ascospores, basidiospores, and zygospores. A zygospore is a large spore enclosed in a thick wall. It is the result of the fusion of the nuclei of two cells that are morphologically similar to each other. An ascospore is the fusion of two cells that are either morphologically similar or dissimilar. Ascospores are produced in a sac-like structure called an ascus. Members of the phyla Ascomycota are known as sac fungi. Basidiospores are formed on a base pedestal called a basidium. 
members of the Phyllobasidiomycota are known as club fungi due to the shape of the pedestal. The phylum Chytridiomycota has at times been classified in the kingdom fungi and at other times in the kingdom protista. Recent evidence obtained from comparisons of protein and nucleic acid sequences has suggested they belong in the kingdom fungi. What are effective and efficient types of pollination? Effective pollination occurs when viable pollen is transferred to a plant's stigmas. Ovule bearing organs, or ovules, seed precursors. Without pollination, there would be no fertilization. Since plants are immobile organisms, they usually need external agents to transport their pollen from where it is produced in the plant to where fertilization can occur. This situation produces cross-pollination. Wherein one plant's pollen is moved by an agent to another plant's stigma. Some plants are able to self-pollinate to transfer their own pollen to their own stigmas. But of the two methods, cross-pollination seems more advantageous. For it allows new genetic material to be introduced. Cross-pollination agents include insects, wind, birds, mammals, and water. Many times flowers offer one or more rewards to attract these agents' sugary nectar. Oil, solid food bodies, perfume, a place to sleep, or sometimes the pollen itself. Other times the plant can trap the agent into transporting the pollen. Generally, plants use color and fragrances as attract ants to lure these agents. For example, a few orchids use a combination of smell and color to mimic the female of certain species of bees and wasps so successfully that the corresponding males will attempt to mate with them. Through this process, pseudocopulation, the orchids achieve pollination. While some plants cater to a variety of agents. Other plants are very selective and are pollinated by a single species of insect only. This extreme pollinator specificity tends to maintain the purity of a plant species. Plant structure can accommodate the type of agent used. For example, plants such as grasses and conifers, whose pollen is carried by the wind tend to have a simple structure lacking petals, with freely exposed and branched stigmas. To catch airborne pollen and dangling anthers, pollen producing parts, on long filaments. This type of anther allows the light round pollen to be easily caught by the wind. These plants are found in areas such as prairies and mountains, where insect agents are rare. In contrast, semi-enclosed, non-symmetrical, long-lived flowers such as irises, roses, and snapdragons have a landing platform and nectar in the flower base to accommodate insect agents such as the bee. The sticky, abundant pollen can easily become attached to the insect to be borne away to another flower. What are sclerotia?
Sclerotia are the aggregate of hyphae enclosed in thick walls that form a protective covering when conditions. Temperature and water, are not conducive for growth. When conditions improve, the sclerotia germinate and produce stalks containing spore-bearing bodies. Ascospores are embedded in the tips of the stalks. When transported by wind, ascospores may land on grasses or grains, especially rye. The sclerotia continue to grow after they have landed on the host plants. How do trees grow out of rocks? If you didn't mow your lawn for a whole summer, eventually your lawn would become a grassy meadow. The change in community structure observed over time is known as ecological succession. When the succession begins in an area that is previously unoccupied or unchanged by other species. The process is known as primary succession. While the tree cannot actually grow out of bare rock. It can begin to grow from small amounts of soil and debris that collect in pockets of the rock. Over time the tree may grow well enough to send roots into the rock itself. Causing the rock to split and making it appear that the tree has sprung from within the rock instead of from its surface. Can animals commit suicide? There is no evidence of animals committing suicide. In strict Darwinian terms this would be of no advantage to an individual's fitness. Who was MR? Ed? MR Ed was the the talking horse and a star of a television show in the 1960s. When he appeared to talk, the horse was actually responding to cues from his trainer. Movement of a small rope running from his halter through his mouth and held by The trainer off camera would cause Ed to move his lips as if he were speaking. In the real world, so far only birds have been able to mimic human speech. How much wood is used for each Sunday edition of the New York Times? More than 150 acres of forest are cut down for each Sunday edition of the New York Times. Most of the world's paper comes from wood pulp. In the United States each person uses an average of 731 pounds. 322 kilograms, of paper per year, or 2 pounds, 910 g, per day. Less than 50% of paper is recycled. Recycling 4 feet 1.2 meters of newspapers would save a 40 feet 12 meters tall tree. What were the first uses of the terms gene and genotype?
The terms gene, from the Greek term genos, meaning to give birth to, and genotype were first used in 1909 by a Danish botanist, Wilhelm Johansson, 1857 to 1927. Johansson is considered to be one of the architects of modern genetics. What is the major function of the nucleus? The nucleus is the information center for the cell and the storehouse of the genetic information. DNA, that directs all of the activities of a living eukaryotic cell. It is usually the largest organelle in a eukaryotic cell and contains the chromosomes. Are spiders really dangerous? Most spiders are harmless organisms that, rather than being dangerous to humans, are actually allies in the continuing battle to control insects. Most venom produced by spiders to kill prey is usually harmless to humans. However, there are two spiders in the United States that can produce severe or even fatal bites. They are the black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, and the brown recluse spider, Loxocells reclusa. Black widows are shiny black with a bright red hourglass on the underside of the abdomen. The venom of the black widow is neurotoxic and affects the nervous system. About four or five of each 1,000 black widow bites have been reported as fatal. Brown recluse spiders have a violin-shaped strip on their back. The venom of the brown recluse is hemolytic and causes the death of tissues and skin surrounding the bite. Their bite can be mild to serious and sometimes fatal. What is the ELISA test? ELISA stands for Enzyme-Linked Immunoserventase. It is a test used to determine if an individual has generated antibodies for a certain pathogen. In the test, inactivated antigens, for the pathogen, are coded onto a plate. In addition to antibodies from the patient serum, there is a second anti-human antibody linked to an enzyme. If the patient's antibodies bind to both the second antibody and the antigen, a color change occurs. How are truffles used in cooking? Dark truffles are generally used to flavor foods such as omelets, polentas, risottos, and sauces. White truffles are usually served raw, they are often grated over foods such as pasta or dishes containing cheese, as their flavors are complementary. They are also added at the last minute to cook dishes. How are plants identified based on their growth patterns? Herbaceous or non-woody plants die at the end of each growing season. 
Woody plants add a new layer of wood each year. Do humans use pheromones? Yes, human eggs release a chemical signal that allows them to communicate with sperm. Human females also respond to pheromones. In this case the signals actually coordinate the menstrual cycle. In fact, two human pheromones have been identified. The first increases the likelihood of ovulation, while the second suppresses ovulation. For years scientists debated the importance of pheromones to humans. But the close examination of the olfactory receptors and the vomeronasal organ in the nose has given researchers a mechanism by which humans may be able to recognize these compounds. Who was Diane Fossey? Diane Fossey, 1932-1985, was an occupational therapist who, inspired by the writings of the naturalist George Schaller, 1933, decided to study the endangered mountain gorilla of Africa. She was trained in field work by Jane Goodall and went on to watch and record the behavior of mountain gorillas in Zaire and Rwanda. She eventually 326 obtained a Ph.D. in zoology from Cambridge University and in 1983 published a book on her studies. Gorillas in the Mist In 1985 she was found murdered in her cabin in Rwanda, her death is still unsolved. What is the difference between rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum? Rough endoplasmic reticulum are regions rich in ribosomes that manufacture proteins. These regions appear to have a pebbly surface that is somewhat similar to sandpaper. Regions with no ribosomes are referred to as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in the synthesis of lipids and steroids. Carbohydrate metabolism, and the inactivation and detoxification of drugs and other components that may be toxic or harmful to the cell. What is a prion? Prions are abnormal forms of natural proteins. Current research indicates that a prion is composed of about 250 amino acids. Despite extensive and continuing investigations, no nucleic acid component has been found. Like viruses, prions are infectious agents. What important fibers are obtained from the sclerenchyma of plants? Many different types of commonly used fibers are obtained the sclerenchyma of plants.
What is the function of bark? Bark protects the interior tissues of a tree from external physical threats such as rain, hail, and snow, and biological threats such as animals, fungi, and bacteria. Bark also serves as a dumping ground in which the tree rids itself of waste products from its metabolism. Nutrients are transported through the phloem of the bark from the roots to the crown of the tree. Is obesity inherited? Genetic clues to obesity have been studied in mice, where at least two genes obese, OB, and diabetes, DB, have been identified and analyzed. The OB gene codes for the weight-controlling hormone leptin. From the Greek term leptos, meaning slender, which is produced by fat cells. Once leptin is released by fat cells, it travels to the hypothalamus. A specific area of the brain, where it binds to receptors. The DB gene codes for these hypothalamic receptors. Once leptin is bound, it regulates the rate of energy consumption. However, body weight is a complex phenotype. And it is likely that there are more genes to be found that control body weight. What are the uses of peat moss? Peat moss, genus Sphagnum, grows mostly in bogs. Peat moss is favored by gardeners for its ability to increase the water holding capacity of soils. Due to large, dead cells in the leaf like parts, it is able to absorb five times as much water as cotton plants. Peat moss is also used as damp cushions by florists to keep other plants and flowers damp. Species of sphagnum also have medicinal purposes. Certain aboriginal people use peat moss as disinfectants and, due to its absorbency, as diapers. Peat moss is acidic and is an ideal dressing for wounds. During World War I the British used more than one million wound dressings made of peat moss. Native North Americans used species of the Generineum and Bryum to treat burns. In Europe species of the genus Dicronoesia have been used to waterproof roofs. What is the lifespan of a fruit fly? The length of adult life can vary considerably. Under ideal conditions an adult Drosophila melanogaster can live as long as 40 days. In crowded conditions lifespan may drop to 12 days. Under normal laboratory conditions, however, adults generally die after only 6 or 7 days. Are giant redwood trees found only in California? Although redwoods extend somewhat into southern Oregon. 
the vast majority of giant redwoods are found in California. The closest relative to this form of redwood is the Japanese cedar found in regions of Asia. This tree grows to a height of 150 feet 45.7 meters, with a circumference of 25 feet 7.6 meters. There are two species of the genus Sequoia, which are commonly known as the redwood and big tree. Both can be seen in either Redwood National Park or Sequoia National Park. At the latter park, the most impressive tree is known as the General Sherman tree. It is 272 feet 83 meters tall, has a diameter of 32 feet 9.75 meters, and a circumference of 101 feet 30.8 meters. The weight of the tree is estimated to be more than 6,000 tons. Other trees found in Sequoia National Park exceed 300 feet 91.4 meters in height but are more slender. The General Sherman tree is about 4,000 years old, the oldest living thing next to the bristle cone pine. Approximately 150 million years ago these giant trees were widespread across the northern hemisphere. While the size of these giant trees implies that they are composed of very strong wood. The opposite is true. The wood is useless as timber because it is brittle and shatters into splintery. Irregular pieces when struck. Perhaps the weakness of the wood is why so many of these giant trees still survive and have not been harvested by the logging industry. How does thin layer chromatography differ from other chromatographic techniques? Thin layer chromatography does not use a column. The stationary phase is thinly coated on a substrate, most frequently a glass plate. A binding agent such as calcium sulfate is electrophoresis has become an important tool in DNA identification, genetic fingerprinting. Usually added to make the adsorbent adhere to the substrate. A sample is placed on the plate and the mobile phase migrates through. The stationary phase by capillary action, similar to paper chromatography. After separation, the spots may be scraped from the glass for detailed analysis. Or they can be subjected to further chromatographic study. Who proposed using magnetic resonance imaging for diagnostic purposes? The concept of using MRI to detect tumors in patients was proposed by Raymond Domedion. 1936, in a 1972 patent application. The fundamental MRI imaging concept used in all present-day MRI instruments was proposed by Paul Lauterbur. 1929, in an article in Nature in 1973. Lauterbur and Peter Mansfield, 1933, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2003 for their discoveries concerning magnetic resonance imaging. The main advantages of MRI are that it not only gives superior images of soft tissues, like organs, but it can also measure dynamic physiological changes in a non-invasive manner. 
without penetrating the body in any way. A disadvantage of MRI is that it cannot be used for every patient. For example, patients with implants, pacemakers, or cerebral aneurysm clips made of metal cannot be examined using MRI because the machine's magnet could potentially move these objects within the body, causing damage. Which radioisotope is most commonly used for biological specimens? The most widely used radioisotope in autoradiography is tritium, 3H. Tritium allows a resolution of about 1 micrometer with the light. Microscope and close to 0.1 micrometer with the electron microscope. Since hydrogen is common in biological molecules. A wide range of 3H labeled compounds are potentially available for use in autoradiography. 3H amino acids are used for locating newly synthesized proteins, 3-thymidine is used to monitor DNA synthesis. Ribonucleotides such as 3H uridine or 3H cytidine are used to localize newly made RNA molecules. And 3H glucose is used to study the synthesis of polysaccharides. What is Darwinian fitness? Darwinian fitness is measured as the average representation of one allele or genotype. In the next generation of a population as compared to other alleles or genotypes. In other words, those alleles or genotypes that become more common within the population are more fit. What was one of the earliest flowering plants? Scientists do not know for certain which plant was the world's first flowering plant. But many surmise that it was the cattail Tifolatifolia, a species still found today. Although it looks like a reed, it is actually a flowering plant. The flowers are tiny, and the petals and sepals are made up of a few bristles. Is DNA always copied exactly? Considering how many cells there are in the human body and how often it occurs. DNA replication is fairly accurate. Spontaneous damage to DNA is low. Occurring at the rate of 1 to 100 mutations per 10 billion cells in bacteria. The rate for eukaryotic genes is higher about 1 to 10 mutations per million gametes. The rate of mutation can vary according to different genes in different organisms. What are nectaries? Plants secrete a variety of substances from specialized structures called secretory structures. Nectaries are structures that secrete nectar. 
a sugary compound that attracts insects, birds, or other animals. Most nectaries are associated with flowers and are called floral nectaries. Nectar is 10 to 50 percent sugar, especially sucrose, glucose, and fructose. Plants usually produce small amounts of nectar, which forces foraging animals to visit several flowers before obtaining a full meal. A single insect or bird can, therefore, pollinate tens or hundreds of plants. How did humans evolve? Evolution of the Homo lineage of modern humans, Homo sapiens, has been proposed to originate from a hunter of nearly 5 feet 1.5 meters tall, Homo habilis. Who is widely presumed to have evolved from an Australopithecine ancestor. Near the beginning of the Pleistocene, two million years ago, Homo habilis is thought to have transformed into Homo erectus, Java man, who used fire and possessed culture. Middle Pleistocene populations of Homo erectus are said to show steady evolution toward the anatomy of Homo sapiens. Neanderthals, Cro-Magnons, and modern humans, 120,000 to 40,000 years ago. Pre-modern Homo sapiens built huts and made clothing. What does the term hydroponics mean? This term refers to growing plants in some medium other than soil, the inorganic plant nutrients. Such as potassium, sulfur, magnesium, and nitrogen, are continuously supplied to the plants in solution. Hydroponics is mostly used in areas where there is little soil or unsuitable soil. Since it allows precise control of nutrient levels and oxygenation of the roots. It is often used to grow plants used for research purposes. Julius von Sachs, 1832-1897, a researcher in plant nutrition, pioneered modern hydroponics. Research plants have been grown in solution culture since the mid-1800s. William Garrick, a scientist at the University of California, defined the word hydroponics in 1937. In the 50 years that hydroponics has been used on a commercial basis, it has been adapted to many situations. NASA will be using hydroponics in the space station for crop production and to recycle carbon dioxide into oxygen. Although successful for research, hydroponics has many limitations and may prove frustrating for the amateur gardener. What is lyophilization? Lyophilization is a freeze-drying technique for preservation and storage of bacteria and other microorganisms. Bacteria can be stored for extended periods of time. Three to five years, as frozen cell suspensions or as freeze-dried, lyophilized, cultures. 
This technique is achieved by placing bacteria in a nutrient broth containing 15 to 25% glycerol and freezing at temperatures of minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit minus 70 degrees Celsius or lower. The glycerol reduces ice crystal formation that would cause subsequent cell damage and disrupt biological structures. Which animal viruses are DNA viruses and which are RNA viruses? Why is it difficult to treat viral infections with medications? Antibiotics are ineffective against viral infections because viruses lack the structures, e. g. a cell wall, with which antibiotics interfere. In general, it is difficult to treat viral infections with medications without affecting the host cell. As viruses use the host cell's machinery during replication. Several antiviral drugs have been developed that are effective against certain viruses. How do rodents, rabbits, and hares digest cellulose? Unlike cows, which have a rumen to digest cellulose, rodents, rabbits, and hares have a cecum, a large pouch to digest cellulose with the assistance of microorganisms. The cecum is located at the junction between the small and large intestines. It is impossible for these animals to regurgitate the contents of their stomachs. Like ruminants, because the cecum is located beyond the stomach. Instead, these animals pass their food through their digestive tract a second time by ingesting their feces. When feces pass through the digestive tract, it is possible for these animals to absorb the nutrients produced by the microorganisms in the cecum. What is gas chromatography? Gas chromatography, specifically gas liquid chromatography, involves a sample being vaporized and injected onto the head of the chromatographic column. The sample is transported through the column by the flow of inert, gaseous mobile phase. The column itself contains a liquid stationary phase that is adsorbed onto the surface of an inert solid. What is the evolutionary time scale? Trends in the fossil record require at least one million years to resolve themselves. And so paleontologists tend to work on a scale of 10 to 20 million years. Evolutionary biologists working on living species tend to describe selection as it occurs over a decade or less. Do seedless watermelons occur naturally? Seedless watermelon was first introduced in 1988 after 50 years of research. 
A seedless watermelon plant requires pollen from a seeded watermelon plant. Farmers frequently plant seeded and seedless plants close together and depend on bees to pollinate the seedless plants. The white seeds, also known as pods, found in seedless watermelons serve to hold a fertilized egg and embryo. Because a seedless melon is sterile and fertilization cannot take place. Pods do not harden and become a black seed, as occurs in seeded watermelons. What roles do fungi play in recycling? Fungi play a key role in the recycling of many elements. As the primary decomposers in the biosphere, they break down organic matter, including dead plants and other vegetation. As fungi actively decompose materials, carbon, nitrogen, and the mineral components present in organic compounds are released, these elements can all be recycled. During decomposition, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere and minerals are returned to the soil. It is estimated that, on average, the top 8 in 20 centimeters of fertile soil contain nearly 5 metric tons of fungi and bacteria per 2.47 acres, 1 hectare. Without fungi acting as decomposers, dead. Organic matter would overpower the world and life on earth would eventually become impossible. What are some interesting features of jellyfishes? Jellyfishes live close to the shores of most oceans and spend most of their time floating near the surface. Jellyfishes have bell-shaped bodies that are between 95% and 96% water. They have a muscular ring around the margin of the bell. That contracts rhythmically to propel them through the water. Jellyfishes are carnivores. Subduing their prey with stinging tentacles and drawing the paralyzed animal into the digestive cavity. Jellyfishes are gelatinous you can see through their bodies. What is pasteurization? Pasteurization is the process of heating liquids, such as milk, to destroy microorganisms that can cause spoilage and disease. This process was developed by Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895. As a method to control the microbial contamination of wine. Pasteurization is commonly used to kill pathogenic bacteria, such as Mycobacterium, Brucella, Salmonella, and Streptococcus, common to milk and other beverages. There are three methods for pasteurizing milk. In the first method, Low temperature holding, LTH, milk is heated to 145 degrees Fahrenheit 62.8 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. In the second method, high temperature short time, HTST. 
milk is exposed to a temperature of 161 degrees Fahrenheit 71.7 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. This technique is also known as flash pasteurization. The most recent method allows milk to be treated at 286 degrees Fahrenheit 141 degrees Celsius for 2 seconds. This approach is referred to as ultra-high temperature, UHT, processing. Shorter-term processing results in improved flavor and extended product shelf life. What are examples of growth factors that affect cell division? In order for a cell to grow, it must have specific nutrients. Some cells may require a messenger referred to as a growth factor to stimulate growth. There are several classes of proteins known as growth factors, which may also influence other cell activities. Including embryonic development and response to tissue injury. What are Joshua trees? Yucca brevifolia, a large shrub found in the southwestern region of the United States. Received its common name from Mormon pioneers. They named the tree after the prophet Joshua because its greatly extended branches. Resemble how Joshua used his outstretched arms to point his spear toward the city of Ai. What groups of organisms have prokaryotic cells and which ones have eukaryotic cells? All living organisms are grouped into three large groups called domains. They are, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. The domains bacteria, eubacteria or true bacteria, and archaea. Archaea bacteria or ancient bacteria, consist of unicellular organisms with prokaryotic cells. The domain Eukarya consists of four kingdoms, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Organisms in these groups have eukaryotic cells. Eukaryon means true nucleus. Who first proposed the kingdom Protista? The German zoologist Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919, first proposed the kingdom Protista in 1866. For the newly discovered organisms that were neither plant nor animal. The term protist is derived from the Greek term protistos, meaning the very first. What is the cytoskeleton and what is its function? The cytoskeleton is a structural feature of eukaryotic cells that was revealed by advanced microscopy. It consists of an extensive three-dimensional network of interconnected filaments and tubules. That extends throughout the cytosol, from the nucleus to the inner surface of the cell membrane. 
these filaments and tubules determine cell shape and facilitate a variety of cell movements. Who discovered lysosomes? Lysosomes are a relatively modern discovery in cell biology. They were observed by Christian de Duva, 1917, in the early 1950s. In 1955, after six years of experiments, de Duva was convinced that he had found an organelle that had not been previously described and was involved in intracellular lysis digestion. He named the organelle a lysosome. This organelle was the first to be described entirely on biochemical criteria. The results were later verified using electron microscopy. In 1974 de Duva, Albert Claude, 1898-1983, and George Pilotti, 1912 shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their work detailing the functions of the lysosome. What is the difference between saturated and unsaturated fat? Fat is a type of lipid molecule constructed by glycerol and three fatty acids. The molecular structure of the fatty acids determines whether the fat is saturated or unsaturated. Fats with hydrogen atoms but without double bonds are saturated. Unsaturated fatty acids have double bonds, and therefore have fewer hydrogen atoms. Which children's author studied and drew illustrations of fungi? Beatrix Potter, 1866-1943, perhaps best known for having written the tale of Peter Rabbit. In 1902, began drawing and painting fungi in 1888. She eventually completed a collection of almost 300 detailed watercolors, which are now in the Armit Library in Ambleside, England. In 1897 she prepared a scientific paper on the germination of Agaricini spores for a meeting of the Linnean Society of London. Although her findings were originally rejected, experts now consider her ideas correct. What is the largest group of mollusks? The gastropods, class Gastropoda which include snails, slugs, and their relatives, is the largest and most diverse group of mollusks. It includes more than 40,000 different species and comprises the second largest group of related animals. Only the insects comprise a larger group. Most gastropods are marine animals, but there are many freshwater species. Garden snails and slugs have adapted to land. Why is evolution a theory?
a scientific theory is an explanation of observed phenomena. That is supported by the available scientific data. The term theory is used as an indication that the explanation will be modified as new data becomes available. For example, the Darwin-Wallace theory was proposed prior to the discovery of the molecular nature of genetics but has since been expanded to encompass that information as well. What would be an example of a cross involving multiple alleles? Blood type in mammals is due to particular marker molecules called glycoproteins, located on the red blood cell membrane. In humans the ABO blood type is determined by a gene with three alleles, A, B, and I, no membrane marker. A and B code for different types of marker molecules. While A and B are equally dominant, both are dominant to I. So a cross of AIX by, blood type AXB, would generate the following ratios, 1 fourth of, type of, 1 fourth AI, type A, 1 fourth by, type B, 1 fourth to, type O. What is junk DNA? The non-coding portions of the genome were formerly referred to as junk DNA. Some of this material turns out to play regulatory roles in DNA replication and transcription. And the rest may be an evolutionary holdover. How does the motion exhibited by cilia and flagella differ from one another? Cilia move back and forth, causing their motion to be perpendicular to their axis of direction. Flagella undulate in a whip-like motion, moving in the same direction as their axis. Can animals hear different sound frequencies than humans? The frequency of a sound is the pitch. Frequency is expressed in hertz, hertz. Sounds are classified as infrasounds, below the human range of hearing, sonic range. Within the range of human hearing, and ultrasound, above the range of human hearing. Do centipedes actually have 100 legs and millipedes have more than 1000 legs? Centipedes, class Chylopoda, always have an uneven number of pairs of walking legs. Varying from 15 to more than 171. The true centipedes, order Scolopendromorpha, have 21 or 23 pairs of legs. Common house centipedes, Scutigera coleoptrato, have 15 pairs of legs. Centipedes are all carnivorous and feed mainly on insects. Millipedes, class Diplopoda, have 30 or more pairs of legs. 
they are herbivores, feeding mainly on decaying vegetation. How are bacteria classified on the basis of metabolic activity? Bacteria are either heterotrophic or autotrophic. Heterotrophs rely on organic compounds for carbon and energy needs. While autotrophs require inorganic nutrients and carbon dioxide as their sole source of carbon. Most bacteria are heterotrophs, and must obtain organic compounds from other organisms. The majority of heterotrophs are free-living saprobes. Also known as saprophytes or saprotrophs, and obtain their nourishment from dead, organic matter. Autotrophs can be photosynthetic or chemosynthetic. Photosynthetic autotrophs obtain their energy from light. While chemosynthetic autotrophs obtain their energy by oxidizing inorganic chemicals. How do animals communicate by scent? A variety of animals use scent marking to identify their territory. Some use scent marking for possessions. In Asian muntjac deer, males have scent glands on their faces that they use to mark their mates. What wood is the favorite for butcher's blocks? Because of its resilience, the preferred wood for making butcher's blocks is derived from the American sycamore. Platanus occidentalis, also known as the American plane tree, buttonball, buttonwood, and water beech. The wood of Platanus occidentalis is also used as for veneers for decorative surfaces. Fence posts, and fuel. What is a keystone species? A keystone species is a species that is crucial or essential to the ecosystem's community structure. Originally, a keystone species was always thought to be the top predator, such as the gray wolf. Scientists have found that wolf population sizes influence populations of both their prey and other species in the environment. However, a more recent viewpoint recognizes that less conspicuous species are also very important. As all species are interconnected in a biological community. Other examples of keystone species include the sea star, Pisister, found along the coast of Washington state, and the black-tailed prairie dog of the prairie ecosystem. The sea star feeds on mussels and prevents the mussels from crowding out other species. The prairie dog is a critical source of food for larger predators. Its burrowing loosens the soil, and its burrows act as home for other creatures. <laughs>